Okay, we're going to talk about mindfulness and breath work. I am not good at meditation. I find it really hard to sit still and stay quiet. I fidget, I itch, I start wondering about what to make for supper. I know that meditation takes work and you can't just try it once and then give up. I am a repeat offender of this. The thing about a mindfulness exercise or a breathing exercise is that it doesn't just vaguely require you to sit still and be quiet. It gives you a task, something to do in that time. Having something to do with your brain means you're less likely to fidget, itch or wonder about supper. You get the same benefits from the stillness, from carving out a few minutes for yourself and switching off from the infinite, incessant tasks and mental load of the day. But first, what is mindfulness? What is the big deal about it? According to Buddha, meditation enables the mind to not dwell in the past or contemplate about the future. In other words, it helps you to be present. I'm really not good at being present. My mom used to say I was always maddeningly trying to move on to the next thing, never able to just enjoy the moment and be in it. I find as the mother of a small child that this is a tricky characteristic to have. As a rule, children don't cope well with transitions. If I'm constantly looking to transition from one thing to the next, it freaks my daughter scout out and is more likely to trigger a temper tantrum. I'm having to learn very quickly to be more present because firstly, I run the risk of just missing out on her childhood altogether. But secondly, it is absolutely essential to foster a happy living environment with my child. But I digress. Mindfulness means, in essence, clarity of thought, an ability to be more present and to focus on what you are doing as you are doing it. Meditation allows us to access a more mindful state of being. These are just some of the reasons that we should be doing it. Meditation boosts immune functions and regulates hormonal discharge, decreasing cellular inflammation. Meditation stabilizes blood circulation in the body and regulates blood pressure, among other essential biological functions. Meditation can help improve sleep quality and reduce fatigue. Meditation can actually help us to be kinder people. We're more easily able to access our empathetic selves if we can go deeper into a meditative state, as it actually fires specific neural connections linked to positive emotions like kindness and affection. Meditation helps with cognition. The research shows that it improves our brain's problem solving and decision making capabilities, which is why it's a useful tool for both education and professional environments. Meditation helps to lower cortisol levels in the brain, decreasing stress levels and reducing the tendency to go into fight or flight mode. Meditation can be an uplifting emotional experience, helping you to feel more secure in yourself. You gain clearer insights into the thoughts that are driving your emotions and actions. There is still a lot of research being carried out on the extent of meditation's potential benefits, not just for these listed reasons, but in relation to pain, diseases and severe mental health disorders. There are studies that show meditation having a huge impact on individuals with ADHD, illustrating the effects of mindfulness in reducing hyperactivity and increasing impulse control. I could go on and on. There are several different types of meditation and I encourage you to look into them to find what most appeals to you. I'm going to suggest a simple mindfulness exercise which helps you to find stillness and clarity of thought in nearly any situation without asking you simply to sit in silence for 10 minutes. I'm also going to suggest a breathwork exercise that helps to regulate your nervous system. Again, whenever you need it most. The five senses exercise. This is very simple but effective. You're going to use your five senses to really notice your surroundings in detail. Sight. Bring your attention to five things that you can see. Try and pick out things that you wouldn't normally notice. They can be tiny details. Touch. Now notice four things that you can feel in this moment. The surface your arm is resting on, the texture of your shirt, the sun on your skin. Sound. Really listen and note three things you can hear. They can be distant sounds or nearby. Smell. Pick out two things that you can smell, particularly if they're things that you normally filter out without even realizing. Taste. Focus on one thing that you can taste. If you need to take a sip of a drink or eat something, that's fine. Or you can just open your mouth to find a taste in the air. But really pay attention to one thing that you can pinpoint. This can be done very quickly, but it is great at bringing you into a state of mindfulness without too much effort. The point is to really access that clarity of thought that meditation can give you. Practice this a few times and gradually add in a moment of stillness and quiet at the end before returning to the noise and rush of your day. Box breathing. This is also known as four square breathing and it's designed to get you to take slow, deep breaths. It's a great one to do anytime, but you can pair it with the five senses meditation exercise. And you can also make use of it when you're trying out the cold shower technique. This type of breath work has been shown to regulate your autonomic nervous system, lower your blood pressure and regulate involuntary body functions such as your temperature. The slow holding of your breath allows carbon dioxide to build up in the blood, which enhances the cardio inhibitory response of the vagus nerve, 
when you exhale, stimulating your parasympathetic system. In a nutshell, you feel calm and relaxed both in your mind and your body. Ideally, you want to be in a relatively calm environment and have your feet firmly planted on the floor when you do this. Sitting or standing up straight will help you to take proper deep breaths. Step one, slowly exhale through your mouth and empty your lungs. Do this with intention, consciously thinking about what you are doing. Step two, inhale slowly and deeply through your nose to the count of four, very slowly. Feel your lungs filling with air and imagine them expanding section by section until they are full and the air moves into your abdomen. Step three, hold your breath for another slow count of four. Step four, exhale through your mouth for the same slow count of four, expelling the air from your lungs and abdomen. Step five, hold your breath again for the same slow count of four and repeat the process. Four times is recommended. If you feel a bit dizzy when you first try it, stay sitting for a minute and resume normal breathing. Remember, it's not enough to just do these things once and expect your whole life to change, but incorporating these two simple exercises into your routine could have a lasting impact over time.